Hello and welcome. So this is an, an intro kind of a video to help get you started on the glossary, the wiki glossary for Computer Assisted Accounting 2. So the first assignment right in this, in this course is to add some terms to the wiki glossary and some definitions. Uh, I also gave you some leeway so that you can also, so you're supposed to add 10 terms, right? Um, or you can also go in and look at terms that other students have added and add to those terms. So the way this will work is when I grade your uh, this assignment, after you've uh, updated the wiki 10 times, then it will pop up uh, in my grading box and I'll go in and say, okay, what are these 10 changes that, that you made as a student? Whether it's new terms or whether you added to a term, it'll tell me what, what you did. And uh, I'll let you know if you need to do more or if you have uh, done sufficient work in the, in the wiki glossary. Okay, so, so go out there if you, if you do, I guess a new, a new term definitely, a new term and definition will definitely get you towards your 10. Uh, if, you, if there's something uh, pretty substantial, you know, you, you need to be able to either correct or add to a term in a pretty uh, substantial way to be able to count that as well. But there may be something like you'll read a term and you'll be like, well, they've totally forgot maybe this part of the definition or something like that. Maybe an example, you can give an example in the definition, that's totally fine. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna walk you through how to uh, add a term and edit the wiki. So this is the wiki right here, right? So over here in week one, wiki glossary, you go to that area in Blackboard, you can click on the blue link here, uh, CAA2 glossary. It gives you some instructions up top what I did was I structured uh, the the wiki by alphabet, right? A through D, E through I, J through N, O through S, T through V, and W through Z. And that's just so you have a structure to throw your terminology, uh, the terms that you find into that structure. So you don't have to add any new wiki pages. Uh, you can, I guess, if you really want to, but you should be able to add it into the this structure that I gave you. So for example, um, if you have a term that starts with the letter uh, U, for example, uh, and you go to T through V here, it'll bring up, see, it'll bring up this page. Then what you do is you click on the edit wiki content, okay? And that'll allow you then to, to throw your term in either under, under T or actually the one I had was under U, right? So under U, right? So you can throw it in there, have your term, something that starts with the letter U, right? It's a glossary, it's, it's meant to be alphabetical so you can easily find a term that you uh, want to look up. So let's go ahead and, and look for a term. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and do accounting information systems. So this is a good uh, term to search for. There is a wiki out there that you can find right here in Wikipedia that has the accounting information system as a term or a topic, right? And so you can go into this one. This is a, a resource for you. There's also like where do you find your terms, I guess might be a good question. Where do you find a term to plug into the wiki? You can go into Wikipedia under accounting information system and you might be able to find some terms within that wiki link in there that you can pull over and put in our glossary. Uh, you might also go to different accounting information software uh, websites. And like for example, QuickBooks or uh, zero are the two that we're going to cover in this class. You might go to their websites and uh, look on their websites, watch some intro videos, get, get some terms. Uh, they may seem pretty simple to you, but you know they're just part of part of the vernacular, right? Part of what the different terms that are used when we do accounting information systems. You might also look in some other uh, software websites, like for example. 
uh, Intuit. Intuit is actually uh, the kind of the parent company for QuickBooks, and they have a lot of different softwares that are out there that you might be able to find. Uh, there's Sage, which is like Peachtree is the kind of the old name for it, but it's Sage is a pretty big website. Uh, SAP is one of them that has stuff on there. Uh, Microsoft has its own accounting software package. You might look out on Microsoft and see, okay, what different terms does the Microsoft accounting software use as part of that? I know one term that somebody might add is, so those are some ideas. Uh, let's go into this one, for example. Okay, so I go into accounting information systems and we see there's all sorts of uh, different blue links, right? A lot of times these blue links are gonna be good terms to add in, right? So there's ERP, that's what I was just talking about, right? That one right there. So that might be a good term to throw in. Let, let's start at the very beginning here. So let's say I'm gonna add in accounting information system. So what is an accounting information system? That's my term that I'm gonna throw in there, AIS. So I go ahead and I can go ahead and maybe copy that. And then I'm gonna pull that across here to the wiki. So that one is going to be in A, right? Accounting information system. So I'm gonna go up through the A through D and edit wiki. And I'm gonna throw it underneath A here. If there's not any space, you can add some more space, right? If there is space, then that's great. Just throw it in there. And so here I am, I'm gonna go ahead and paste it right in. So there's the accounting information system. And that's my term, right? So my term is there and my definition will come afterwards. And you can format it however you want. Let's stick to a single formatting. Uh, maybe we can make the terms bold or we can even, in, let's, let's maybe underline the terms. That might be a good formatting system to keep our glossary looking good. And then uh, after that, we're gonna put in the actual uh, definition, right? So let's go back here where we found it. So we can say maybe a system of collecting, storing, and, and processing financial and accounting data that are used by decision makers, okay? So that actually includes terms within it. Maybe you can define what a decision maker is, okay? So these are just ideas on how to gain some, uh, go find your terms, right? You guys may already know what the decision maker is. Maybe another student in the class doesn't, so it'll be good to put in the glossary uh, and kind of define that. So I can go ahead and throw that in there. Okay, here's here's the definition, right? And we want to go ahead, we can format this. Really the formatting's done up top, right? So this here is text color. So we make everything black, right? And this is the underlying italics, bold, all over there on that side. So, okay, so that's where I, that's my term, Accounting Information Systems, AIS, is kind of an acronym for it. Uh, and it is a system of collecting, storing, and processing financial and accounting data that are used by decision makers, okay? So that's my term. That's one of my terms that I can throw in there. Uh, somebody else might come along and say, you know what, there's more to that. And so maybe they read somewhere, they watched the video, or they just kind of gain an understanding of what an accounting information system is, and they're gonna add maybe uh, something to that. And so they can totally do that. What you might do, especially if you're gonna copy and paste kind of like I just did, right? What you might do is you might wanna cite that, okay? So this, the I got that um, from this website, right? So if you if you want to go ahead and cite it, you can do it a couple different ways. Uh, one of the one of the easiest ways to do it is to go out on the web, and you can use some of the citation uh, tools out there. Like for example, how to uh, cite a website. So we can put things in MLA format. That's usually what economics and business is in. Okay, so we're gonna throw in a website into this box here. And, and sure enough, that's, that's what it is. So it gives us the information and it goes through several steps. This specific website does, right? And it, it wants to know uh, the contributors and the authors. There really isn't any in Wikipedia necessarily. So we're gonna go ahead and just click create citation. It'll throw the citation out here for us. So here is the citation, right? Here it is. 
So we can actually copy and paste it, okay, over to the wiki glossary. So we can just maybe throw it right in here at the end and that's our citation. And that way, if somebody wants to go and say, okay, where did they find that definition? Maybe I can build off of that. Then they'll know what that, where I got that, right? I got it in Wikipedia, accounting information system was the term that I searched. And it was, I, I did, did it on January 12th. So that's just, that's gonna be a full on, you know, uh, term and definition and you might include citations if you are gonna grab it from somewhere you might want to give some credit like where you got that information just to help us in the glossary and also just to keep things you know on the up and up on uh, academic integrity right so that's that's what we're gonna do that's an example of how to put a term into the wiki glossary so that is the first that is the first assignment or uh, your unit in the uh, accounting information systems uh, computer assisted accounting 2 class. I'll go ahead and leave that out there for you guys so you can kind of see it in the wiki. You're going to want to hit submit and then it'll show up. There it is right there. So anybody can come along and edit that as well. That's kind of the whole idea of a wiki. You're going to be able to edit that. Uh, you can even make comments on stuff. <clears throat> if you don't want to actually put it into the wiki, maybe just ask a question or something, you can comment uh, there as well. I'm going to know what you did. So you don't necessarily need to put your name. Uh, when the grading comes up for you, it'll show me everything you did. Now you can't necessarily see that. It's going to actually say who modified what last, right? It's actually going to show me what you did within the wiki. It keeps a separate record so I can grade you. So anyways, no need to put your, your name on it, on anything that you do. All right, so hopefully that was helpful and we'll talk to you later, bye.